and here we go. Charlie coming in, and he gets the ball first. And pass off to Brooks. Nate beat. Brooks bringing it up slowly. Just probing for the, um, the defense. We got number 17 coming through. Good pass, but we're going to get a beat here on Charlie. Yep. Good tenacity by Faye. And uh, Central set up a D, and Muggles successfully hold off. Uh, well organized attack. Muggles sending in their beaters. Mark is looking. Oh, very, very well done by Mark. Also very well done by Nate, and Muggles have budget control. Muggles setting up the attack. Have you ever missed the names, Seth? Oh, uh, yeah. And Muggles, girls running up to serve the D. Maddie Kerr and... Oh, can't make out the other number. Mark and Dundee probing. Beat is coming in first. Rook's a bit vulnerable at the moment. Max, Max looking hot, he needs to convert though right now. That's beat though. That was beat. Very good beat by Dundee. Not very well thought out pass by Max, but he usually plays pretty well. <laughs> Dundee and Mark looking very hot at the moment, both in terms of good looks and play style. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dundee, aka Tarzan, and Mark, aka oh, what are we? Hot Wheels. Young, young Brad Pitt. Oh, young Brad Pitt. <laughs> Beat on Nate, but gets Mark out of the play. Brooks is down and dismount. Nothing wrong with the tackle as far as I'm concerned. But you know, refs might see differently. Brooks has come off the injury and, and we have a turnover by the, the Centaurs. Very well placed by Dan. Max coming up. Playmaking. Back to Dan. Keeper extraordinaire. Big sword. Passes it to Coxley. Co Coxley. Oh, did too much on that one. Boot on. Boot on Max. Oh. Oh, James. Very well done by Faye. Very well done by Faye. Very good by James. Turned, some, turned a disaster into a goal. Absolutely disaster to pass that one. Brings down. That's a beat. And James successfully stand turtles. Not quite a, a normal turtle, but a sand turtle is just as good as a normal turtle. All set. All set. All right, hold on. Ed, good, defense, good defensive point chasing. Back, back to Muggles, good turnover. Dan coming down the left hand side. Look at those far lap legs. Looks for Ed. Oh. Puts a bit too much on it. Ed brings it around, looking for Dan. Overcooks it. And Santos ball. Muggles really need to put the foot down to get out of, get out, get out of range of these guys because Santos are playing very well. Really need to get some fast breaks, Muggles. Oh, that's a bad. Oh, disengage. Uh, um, that could hurt them later in the game because he's a very good seeker, so you have to be very careful against a young and dashing and very good looking Bodhi. <laughs> And he's very to, humble. Very baby. humble. I would say as modest as they come. And here's a good fast break from Muggles, but they don't use it. They don't use it. Not at all. 
We need to get some speed out there for the Muggles. Nate is playing very well at the moment. He's the real Slim Shady. And he did stand up. Mm -hmm. And Max is back on. They convert a goal despite the absence of the fair headed one. Um, we have two tall coming on for Muggles. Oh, I'm not quite certain what his name is, but I will be able to tell those watching. In the oh my god! What did they do? Oh, very good by Matty Kerr. Very, very well done. Saves Muggles from getting an easy goal against them. Good Here comes Ed Vianet. I believe that is um, Portuguese for Philly Head One. Or Leo Sayer. And here comes Brooks. Trundling down the pitch at 40 kilometers an hour. Oh, and that's what we call a custom pass, but Nate's going to have to make some serious ground. <laughs> what are you doing? Come on, man. Thank you. Very, very well done by Nathan. And Muggles have bludgeon control and managed to get Quaffle as well. Here comes uh, Maddie in the common block, a very good chaser. Deadly around the hoops, so sometimes it's definitely have to watch it. Pass it to too tall. And that's a Muggles goal. Very well done by the Muggles offensive players in that fight. Um, bit, of, bit of trivia um, Dan Leanne's favorite Pokemon is Lickitung. As is mine. Um, Nate also competed in the World Jello Wrestling Competition from last year. I believe he placed the. It's not slippery enough. What? Well, what kind of what? Jello fighting. Jello fighting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Nick Monroe beat and Ed Ed Sheeran bringing it up. Good hair dye. Uh, probably attend his hairdressing. Dan is looking very deadly. Muggles making some ground. Um, I think we're about 10 minutes in, if not 15. I don't have the what time. What are we feeling, Sal? I don't have the time on here, so I don't know. Uh, maybe, that's maybe. A bit rude by Sal. Maybe, maybe 12 fish, 13. Yeah, I don't so know. about halfway. Yeah. Um, Central beaters actually aren't really looking too bad. Um, Anita. Anita, who we'll call Blondie for the rest of the game. And, and Carissa, also doing very well. Thank you, by it. Pass it down would have been a bit risque. Mm. But paid off. And the Centaur's lead has diminished within a matter of five minutes, but I'm sure they can bring it back. So it's 40 10. 40 10, indeed. Thank you, Nick. Yeah. Here comes Charlie. Beat on Ed. 
Charlie coming through, looking very open at the moment. Passes to Dundee. He needs to... And that's a goal to Dundee. Read it very well, the old timer. The bearded devil. Satan incarnate. Silver tongue. Draco Malfoy. Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe. I'll see if I can use that one for the next game. Or if there's a long groom's challenge, maybe you can use this and one. And here comes the old Mr. Kuin. The old Mr. Kuin. Maddie looking deadly. Dangerous. Mr. Kuin passes to Dan. He's having, oh, he managed to get it. Oh, and Brooks cuts it off. They've got one of my favourite players on at the moment, Mr. Luke Powell. The greatest trend law of our time. <laughs> Muggle setting up a very good Diamond D. Very effective in the old days. Speedy composition is a little bit different. And here comes Fade, testing the D. Doesn't get the beat on Mr. Kewin. Oh, Dundee, absolute rocket pass, but couldn't quite get there in time. Oh, good by Centaurs. And here comes Dundee. Stalking like a predator, hungry. For goal. <laughs> He's definitely not from peasant stock, our Dundee. Noble Lord. Fair haired child from House Lannister. But with no incestuous connotations. That we know of. That we know of. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen his third eye, but I'm sure it's there. Oh, an unsuccessful deflection by Dundee. Carissa holding the line until the Centaurs can get back into the defense. Faye hustling. Beat on Dan in time. Beat on Mr. Cohen. Come on, Mr. Cohen. Dundee looking hot. Oh. That could have been a captain's goal right there, but Dan read it well. Dundee was the tip of the spear, and you got a little bit blunt towards the end. Here comes Nikki, sussing it out. Luke looking dangerous. Faye coming in. We're going to beat on Luke. Oh, and Dundee, here's a captain's goal, if any. And the Muggles chaser actually helps Dundee out by pulling him out of the way of, the, of Zach's um, beat. Bit unfortunate. They call that the eighth man. And here comes Mr. Kuin, coming down the left-hand side. And Mr. Luke Powell, looking very dangerous as well. Dan assessing the situation. Beaters go into, into contact. And Mr. Kuin, oh, no goal. From certain angles, one might consider that a goal, but obviously not this one. Here comes James Lay, sussing it out. He's got sleeves now. He's got sleeves. Yeah. More to hold on to. Mm. <laughs> I did like me some biceps. <laughs> Here comes Stretch. Oh. Oh, and that might be, yep. Ah. That's one of the new rules we have. And they're going with the original call, which I think was a good call by Bucket Hat Tail. Bucket Hat has become quite a prolific um, attire in the British community since Will's introduction in um, 2015 and it's stayed there since. Oh, very good deflection by Stretch Men. Oh, here comes Luke. Absolute bullet. 
Absolute bullet, Luke Powell. Um, just to clear this a little bit, if you need a hammer, then no. So wait, what do you want me to do? And Muggles are uh, slowly uh, itching back out of lead. But Centaurs can definitely do something about it. Dundee is looking a bit tired. I think it would be oh, very wow. good for him to have a rest. And that's what that's what he's doing. Saving himself for the, the last bit of the game. And here comes the old favourite, Charlie Crutchfield. Sorry, just parallel. Hardly a villain in anyone's eyes. Quite a stud, actually. Ah, oh, right, I see. <laughs> and Charlie seeing an opening. Oh, then roll, roll it up and we'll see where, which... Can't quite get around Nicola. Nicola doing very good pressure. Was that, and oh, that was a goal. Holy crap. Amazing. That was a bullet pass. Snitches don't like to snitch these games. There's a, there's a lot riding on them. Which one in or out? Not at all. Do you think, uh, what do you think? That, you like that, biased that, that, or? That Bode, no, not biased at all. Oh. Biased. What do you think Bodie's, what's on Bodie's mind? Bodie does not like snitching these games at all. Okay. <laughs> Bodie is reconsidering agreeing to oh. um, doing this game and is, might be signaling John to come over oh. and fake tiredness. <laughs> As long as the beaters from both teams do their job, then the snitch will be able to do a lot with this game. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I, I can't predict what's going to happen. I, I don't know. Like, who's got the stronger beating? I think Mark and Zach go up very well against each other. And Nate is Nate's probably maybe just a little bit ahead. But Nate will probably be get chucked on at Seeker. Yeah, yeah. If they're smart. Or Mr. Max Popley, if um, they're prepared to risk a red. Oh. <laughs> it's always a bit dangerous putting a, um, a seeker into yellow, uh, into into seeking. <laughs> and that's going to be a yellow for. Wow! That's a red! Okay, goals of Centaur. So that's a red to Max. Um, so. The Muggles have got a person in the box. Maybe they come out now because the Centaurs just scored, not sure. But we've also lost Bodhi because he's got to be a snitch. Unfortunate. I won't commentate much because, yep, cannot uh, compete with Bodhi's excellent commentary. So the score is. Uh, 60 to the Muggles, 50 to the Centaurs. Another score to the centre is that levels it at 60 all. And a score to the Muggles.
That's okay. Yep. Chloe, inching up the pitch, inching, step by step, slow, Dundee doing some beating. Nick beats. Not much of a defense here. Yet. Yes, go Chloe. Excellent save there from Centaurs. Oh, so close. Good save from the Muggles. Beautiful goal from uh, Nathan and the Muggles. They jump out in front 80 60. into the goal. Brings her up to 80-70. Her name might be Jess. The crowd goes wild. It's very nice. <laughs> nice team goal. Nice good passing. What we got? Seventy hundred. Was that a goal? Maybe that wasn't a goal. So brings down that was a goal. Uh, it looks like Mark's gone off with yellow and Brody Snitch has come on a minute early.
Oh, bit of a trip from Nathan, not sure if that was contact induced, didn't quite see the beginning. I'm not sure what the broom sound was for. Just a quick check of contact, I think. Uh, maybe it could have been related to Nathan's trip. Just trying to work out. It feels like something is fondling my buttocks, and I'm like, who's behind me right now? Is that your toes? I'm just going, that feels, that feels like hands going. Going like that on my butt, and I'm going. Sorry, I felt that on my butt, and I was like. Excellent defense again by that Muggles chaser. Nice block. A nice goal from Nathan again. Uh, taking it out of such range, so it's 110 to 70. But the seeker is on, seekers are on. It's got a bit of a run off. So Santos have bludger control. Um, they're just Chris is coming over now to beat uh, the seeker. And it goes to Centaurs, that's bring us back into snitch draw range. Uh, the scores changed. So it's 80 100. Interesting. So it's in such range now for a win. Go James! Go! Go James! Slightly biased. I'm not really a commentator, so that's okay.
Sorry? Oh. It's like it's like a nader is injured. Whoops, put the couple. Oh yes, that was a broom zone because uh, Anita's uh, gone off with an injury. Zach, nice catch. Charlie beat. Mark beating the seeker, not worrying about the quaffle play, and allows the muggles to score a little bit. So the score's 12080. I'm not sure. Sorry. Um. Is one thirty ninety. Goals the centaurs, that's 130, but the muggles might. No goal? Dundee's holding onto it. And gets it to stretch. Justine comes on now.
go. So that's 142, 100 or something. Um, oh, Charlie's run up with the quaffle. Deflex of the bludger. May have got beat just Another Gossam Muggles. 150 to 100. So the muggles really bring it away. So the centaurs are good to score. Got three goals to catch the snitch. Oh, but Brooks is still up there. Everyone else. Oh, back to Charlie. The Quaffles turned over to the Muggles, so that must have been an illegal reset from Brooks. And another goes to the Muggles, really pulling it away, so that's 160 to 100.
this is a very slow walk up here from Dan. Very slow. No goal. Yeah, it's the out. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, just press the power. And the password, just press like...
Oh, <laughs> Some work by the muggles. Yeah. Great intercept. It's 
centos aren't going to catch a snitch. They're just trying to they just score how many goals? Ten goals. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna have to fight their way back to be in snitch range. Great teamwork by the Muggles. My God. <laughs> Communication between the centaurs. The beaters and chasers. Yeah, they need to be talking. Mm. They were playing really well before the seeker got out, I think. And then, I guess, I don't know. Because the like, muggles and centaurs are both great teams. There just needs to be more on field communication. Great, great passing. Mm. And Nathan distracted the babies. We will now treat this like a Hunger Games match where we are the benefactors and we will just throw in balls to the people we think deserve the balls the most. Oh. Give them more balls to make it oh, more okay, fair. Okay. <laughs> hey Nathan, I don't think you have enough cloth or let's give them more. Yeah. Hey, I think you need six more balls in there. Yeah. 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 We're cheating, but we're cheating in a good way. If there's like a third team on the sideline hitting other balls, yeah. that'd be quite We just have Williams in one of those like swimming pool podium stands where he just got all the bludgers and he's just throwing them left and right at people he just doesn't like. That includes Bodhi. Oh, the snitch. <laughs> we're just we're just waiting to go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well done, muggles.